What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid 10 Outdoors. Come back. We're going to talk about my lighting setup for camping. What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? I wanted to bring forth all my lighting that I use when I'm camping. Um, this is pretty much it. Uh, this is something I'm putting back in rotation, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um, now, I do have propane lanterns that I can use. I got three of them, matter of fact. But I'm going to try to steer away from using those so much. I don't know. I, I'm on the border of using those. Um, I think of um, with the propane, you know, there's that chance of somebody getting burned with them. And I don't want to take that chance. So that's why I'm kind of scaling back from them. Now I've got another set of lights that's not up here right now that are the um, uh, hammock lights that I got for the hammock. Um, it's, those are more of a decorative thing, kind of like these right here are kind of a decorative thing. Now we'll go through here in a little bit and I'll show you the brightness on all of them and show you what kind of lights they're putting out. And what I might want to change up I'm going to rely on some suggestions from you guys. Um, I will be running a basically a dining fly with my prep area and cook area for car camping. And then there will be inside the tent. And I'll show you what I use for inside the tent for the most part. And we'll go from there. Um, always carrying some kind of flashlight, handheld flashlight like this. I've got this old Coleman that I can let Chloe use. It's bright enough to see your way to a bathroom or a trail, you know, to the bathroom. I've had this light. This is my first LED flashlight I've ever owned. And then, of course, then I've got my O-Light, which we know what those things do. Um, and then the other thing, too, if you're sitting up camp or doing, you know, stuff like that, and you need both hands so you can't hold a flashlight, well, then there's headlamps. Now, there's many different types, types and brands. I'm not going to go into that right now. This is my black diamond headlamp that does the red and does the um, white light too. There we go. There's the white light. Um, then I've got even ones like this that clip onto a ball cap and light up, you know, that way. And then more decorative lighting with the, the, uh, this has got a bad switch or something in it. The decorative lighting with these little Coleman lights and inside the tent I'll come closer to using stuff like this light this light and in the last camp couple camping trips we've used this light now we'll turn a lot of the lighting off in here so you can see the difference in these the brightnesses of these lights um, but like I said I'm wanting to you know if I'm gonna have a separate dining or prep area that's under a tent or a canopy or something of that nature um, I'm gonna need lighting for it especially if it's you know late fall and sun's going down early you gotta have lighting for your dining area too so that's something I gotta take in fact uh, consideration all right uh, let's darken it up a little bit and we'll get started okay it's fairly dark in here well fairly dark I've got overhead lights on that's it they're not very bright so I'm going to show you the brightness of some of these and so you'll know what I'm getting at like I said these are more of an accent light that I'll have that I've strung up before in camp and uh, I can find the, there's a knot here you know how that goes um, one of the things I'm going to be running some 110 I'll be you know when I camp, car camp, we're close to 110 outlet. So I may be running some rope lights or something like that in the dining fly part. Uh, that way we've always got constant power in there. Um, but anyway, there's those. Like I said, these are more decorative lighting. Now, inside the tent, I've got this, which is pretty dead blame bright. The cool thing about this is it does have a dimmer on it. So you can dim the light and you can turn it off, you know, such and such. Also, to turn it off, you can do this. That shuts it down. Now I've got this. I bought this a while back. It's not very bright, as you can see. I mean, it's not 
emitting a whole lot of light so it does flash let's see did I have it as bright as it goes yeah and there's a dimmer and then there's flash um, then there's this one like I said it doesn't put out a whole lot of light it's just a warm light um, so that may be more of a, you know keeping a light I don't know uh, it, it's a heavy light compared to this and this and these um, of course then there's the here's the old style Coleman um, it's an old Coleman LED flashlight it's one of the first ones I ever owned and of course then it got Big Daddy over here O lights I mean it almost blinds out the the uh, Coleman lantern light itself but it's perfect for walking a path um, you really don't need anything this bright for walking past. I mean, this is great if you want to see what critters are coming two miles down the road. And then you got, like I said, you got these. Um, this one's fairly bright. I mean, it washes out, you know, when you get further distances. Um, a good, it's got the flash, a good uh, headlamp like this one. And, whoop, I already touched it. You're going to hit that that uh, there's a brighter mode on it so you can do a lot of work with that but basically that that's where we stand with lighting let me uh, jump the overhead light back on okay so that's where I stand with lighting um, like I said when I get ready to start using the canopy and stuff for cooking under at night I'm gonna have to find something a little brighter uh, I think like um, um, Fraser has is the rope lights in there hung up on the top. That would probably be pretty good. I think in the tent, I'm still pretty good with this. I may look at something else to hang up so it lights illuminates the whole tent. I don't know why I've raised that all the way up. You can't see that. So I do have a couple of lights on Amazon. I'm going to pull off and uh, get in and see what I think about them. Um, like I said, this was cheap, so it does what it does. I have used this in the tent and put it on strobe mode and just let it blink and it lights up the whole tent it blinks the whole tent so you know where the tent is and that might be something kind of cool to have um, to keep on you know keep I don't know like I said I'm all I got a couple more I'm gonna look at I want some suggestions too and don't just give me suggestions if you can give me links to lighting that you think might be worthy of having I would like to stay away from electrical if at all possible and if it could be all battery operated and what I may do at some point because like this is rechargeable I may get all rechargeable batteries for my lighting so that way I can recharge them and get them ready to go for the next trip all right and of course I could take the charger with me if I'm on a long trip and recharge you know the batteries as needed during the day so Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Um, leave your comments and suggestions down below if you have a, a lighting source you like. Um, you know, it's got to be pretty bright. To Well, I, I say that. It's got to be a, the right light to um, illuminate if you're working in the kitchen area, washing dishes, whatever you got to do. You know, maybe early morning you're having to fix breakfast for everybody or making that first pot of coffee. <laughs> of course, I can do that with a headlamp, but... Anyways, I appreciate it. Thanks for everything y'all are doing for us. And thanks for all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. And that's it for now. Be prepared.